Here, Mom, give him the piece. <laughs> we always cut them up a bag of cheese and take with us on our walk. They mind a lot better for some reason. They like to kind of stick with us pretty close with, with cheese in our hand. We're doing our morning walk before we hit the cabin. It's been raining. It rained most of the day yesterday. Got some rain falling out of the trees because their wind's blowing. But it looks like it's broke up and gonna let up today so we can do some work. Hey, Yar. You ready for another piece? Okay. Oh, look at the spider webs on Brody's face. <laughs> <laughs> Brody, you got spider webs all over you. Goodness. You ran through some cobwebs, didn't you? All right. All right, let's go. Well, we're back at the cabin. I'll kind of show you what we're doing this morning. You can see that log up there. That's going to be our porch, come out over the porch. And we couldn't leave this one whole because of where our windows and, and door came out. Let me just get up here and show you. So what we did, we cut it there and we're going to cut three sections and then our next log will cover all the windows and the doors. We got we're going to we're going to put two 35 foot logs out here. But that's the porch going to overhang. So when I set that down, I'll have to get me a temporary pole under that kind of hold it up. Got the crane doing it right now, but that's where we're at. And the boys need some more cheese. Yep, yeah, they love cheese. Right, easy now. Easy. Good job. All right. All right, let's go back to the house. We'll get everything together. So we'll have one more full length log to go on top of that. And we're trying to figure out how to get this all to come out level on the top. So I'll show you what we're trying and we'll see if it works. So we measured the next log that's supposed to go on top of this one and it's about three inches smaller on the tail end. So we got these logs with a string line all going downhill evenly. Then we put a three inch block on top of the bottom, the last one down there and run a string line on it and checked it for level got it level, and then redid the logs, lifted them up. Uh, so the center one, we had to lift up a little bit more. And now he's scribing them all with the same scribe width. So in theory, the back wall should be about three inches lower when we get this log on. We hope, we'll see how it works. Down now. It feels like it's just sitting there. Yeah, that's good. Right. I'm going to keep tension on it. So. Yeah, I keep the safety deal on it. Well, you can actually just leave. Well, I guess we got to put the other piece up. So we got to put the other piece up too. So we're going to have to secure it somehow. But that's not enough to pick that up. So we'll no, get I don't think so. Well, let me go ahead and put the log dogs the center, in. So. Yeah, let me get the log dogs up there so it don't roll. We can always put a brace under it too if you want.
We got some cheese. I cut them a few pieces this morning. They love cheese to go on our walk. It is a beautiful, beautiful day this morning. Oh. My wife, she's laid every bit of this rock over the years. We've got like seven little koi ponds right here. She's raised koi in them. She's cleaning some of them out right now. Then we've got a big koi pond. You can see some of our fish. You can get a couple ducks floating around in here. Some of those koi's, oh, they're over 20 years old. We have Here comes Brody. Hey, Brody, you ready? You guys ready? Go! <laughs> they love it. Look at them. Brody was looking back at him. Come on, keep up, he says. Keep up, old man. Well, this is the trail you guys have seen quite a few times. And this is where we're at right now in the cabin. After our walk, we're going to come back and got our porch po uh, beans going out. Already got that one done over there with a temporary pole under it. Then we got this one set up, ready to set it down. So we're kind of excited. Anyway, we'll get back to that. <laughs> All right, it's in my pocket. Let's go for a walk. Yeah, they're even. Yeah. You like it? Looks better. You got to now, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> for better or for worse. You mean like when we got married? Yeah. <laughs> Looks good. You gotta show them how you did that. I just took my shortest log, we was going 15 inches out. And I put a mark here. And that guide I have on the saw you just set this board over a half inch because it offsets your blade a half inch. Then you just level that down and follow that guide. So the, Keeps it nice and straight. Yeah. So it, does, it did really Keeps good. Keeps your log straight. Yeah. Look at that. It's what he used for doing the windows too. Yeah. All right. Let's do the other side while we're doing it. This is my shortest log up here. It's about 15 and a half. So I set that back a half off there and my saw come real close to hitting here. So I've just got it swinging with one screw. But you want to keep this level. Some of the logs are setting like this, curved. Right. So just try to put your screws in lightly. So the end will be square? Yeah. Yeah. So the end will be square. If you suck these down hard, they won't stay square. 
because you don't need much to guide. I can do it my eyeball, but not this good. It's, like, it's, it's like loose, but I'm easier, just gonna, less stressful that way too. Yeah. All you gotta do is the guy just gotta follow that, even though that's moving a little. Don't matter. As long as you keep your keep your sights straight. All right. All right, it's another one. It's looking better. I like it like that. I do that too. Better. Yep. Now I can get it all sanded up and. You know, heck, I'll just go right around the house, I guess. Go ahead and hit them all. All right. You notice I was risking life and limb for y'all to get that video. I did. When that one fell on my chain, it worried me just a hair. And I thought, well, I've been hurt before. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Lance just finished scribing our logs, so while he was doing that. Oh my goodness. Made him some banana muffins. Did you bring my honey? I don't need honey on banana muffins. <laughs> Your honey's right here. <laughs> that was good. I get two and you get three? Yep. <laughs> and I've been doing some figuring, trying to figure out the rest of our roof line. It's stressing me out. Indy is our connoisseur. Well, he ate it that time. He usually spits it out. Because normally if it ain't got butter on it, I'll just spit it right back out. Andy, this don't have butter on it. No butter. He said it's good anyway. <laughs> yeah, he likes it now. You want a piece, Andy? Sorry, Rudy. Did you get it? Did you drop it? I'll give you one. Get your nose back <laughs> on the plate. He almost hit me in the head. <laughs> that is awesome. Did that work good or what? The bruise hurt was pretty good. That's way safer. Way safe from grabbing up with one, one spot. Well, a couple times you would have lifted me plumb off my feet too, if I come pulling an idiot's way. I thought I did that one, but got me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little scary sometimes. There you go, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Over time. Um.
I had, oh, if I would have cut it one more blade long, longer, that would have cut right down. Yeah, that looks. It's got a pretty good gap up here. I can see daylight all the way down through both sides. Which way did you move the end? That way? That way. But this ain't going down, so. Huh? This isn't going down, so I need to I need to pick this end up out here, get it up, and I'll salt chainsaw that for it. It's clear because it's holding it up. Oh, okay. Right, right up in there that looks like a pit. I don't know why. I don't know if you've got the log turned funny. These are these uh the knot. Yeah. It's too tight. Huh? It's too tight. You think? Yeah, I can't see no gap between it. <laughs> yeah, I'm breaking. <laughs> Man, look at that. Well there's a couple places down here. But if you want, we could probably just fix that and then tape it while we got it done. Yes. Perfect. All right. I say let's take it off. I'll just sand those spots and we'll insulate it and tape it. It'll work so. Andy.
And that makes me have to work harder to get the oil in there. I'm supposed to put the oil in at the beginning of the water. Oh. But it'll be all right. make a bridge you can put more flour in it but this is for pizza dough I like to keep it pretty soft pizza 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 <laughs> just stretch and fold we have a pizza tonight huh? we have a pizza tonight I'm put it down here so you can it's easier to do this on a table or a kneading trough but this will work so you just pick it up, pull it, fold it over, squash. Pick it up, fold it, squash. How do you know when you're done? Hmm? How do you know when you're done? Just tell by the feel. For bread, you're supposed to go about 10 minutes, but if you poke it, if the dent stays in there, it's not done. It's supposed to, it develops the gluten. That's a See how it's starting to spring back more? Yep. If you're making bread and you want it really light, you usually do it for 10 minutes, about. But for pizza dough, it's not quite so critical. It's easier when you're not, you haven't been sanding all day. A little sawdust ought to be good in there. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, my, arms, fire, my, my <laughs> arms are tired. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, <laughs> not, misunderstood me. Not worried about any stinking sawdust. <laughs> All right. All right, and then you just put a little oil in your bowl. Put it around. Turn your dough. Flip it over. It keeps it from drying out. And then you can put a damp towel over it. Keep it from drying out, and then the let it sit somewhere warm until it gets about twice that big. You mean like out here? Yep, today's <laughs> perfect. Sweet. All there is to it. We'll show you all the pizza later when we cook it. All right. Can I go back to work? Yep. Okay. wider listen we might need to pull this end in just a hair because it you know your scarf gets wider out there it might be keeping it from tipping over oh 
Yeah. Knock it back this way just a hair. Yeah. I didn't. Your, uh, your scarf looks a little smaller than it used to. I didn't mark it. I know. And I was going to and I forgot. But this, side, this side's a little looser than it was, isn't it? Your scarf notch. Mm -hmm. Is it super tight? Okay. Yeah, but we can move it over. Just try it and see. You hit it with a hammer? Maybe. I don't think it'll take very much. The hammer's up here. Uh -huh. All right. Roll it down. Roll it yeah. down. Roll it. Bugs blew in my ear. You want me to drop it? Throw it down, yes. Yes, please. Drop it right. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Let's see. I can move this big thing. It looks like it needs a little light. Yeah, I think it does. Hey, look. You put a little line right there. See if I move it away from it. Yeah. Yeah, that looked better already. I moved an eighth inch. Yeah. Oh. Guys, that one went up good. It took one try. And then I took just a tiny bit off on spots. And it's <laughs> tight. Our joints are good. Now we're going to hit that one down there. And let me not turn too fast or I'll mess, mess your eyes up. Okay. Let's go inside and look. I got to go get me a post and I'm going to stick one under this cantilever out so it don't do any, any bending down or anything. Because that dude's heavy. Good joints. Looks good. Turned out well. And I'm gonna hit this other one. And then we're the next logs will go across the back and the front, and that's that's a gable log. So we'll pizza dough ought to be just about ready. doubled up. All right, I'm gonna go get everything else ready to go. And we'll make some pizza. There's our first one in the Dutch oven. We're getting ready to do another one. We brought all the ingredients up here and Cinda made a little pan out of aluminum foil. One, aluminum. Of, those, one of those little half pans that you use for all the way anyway, I'll show you where she's putting it. You guys that have been watching our videos, you've seen us cook uh, biscuits and other things in this. We'll have to time it and see how long that takes. Right. Took a little longer than it does on the stove. But... And we're burning up some of our wood up here. We're going to really make sure we don't burn our cabin down.
burning up some of our scraps tonight while we're making pizza out of here. Dutch oven going. parchment paper under it so it can move easily and get all the stuff on it. Mm -mm. I like the glass still. Roll it out. Do what? The glass. Oh yeah, it works really good. That's homemade sauce she made herself. Lots and it of, is lots of basil. It's tasty. Why I planted so many tomato plants. One of one of the reasons. Pepperoni. Yeah, let's see if I can remember the pepperoni this time. <laughs> I think it's been a long day. Found the black olive after over there. Oh, he's just gonna eat that so, jalapeno. There was back. He started to eat that jalapeno. No, so he knows. I'm gonna give some just a minute. That's not done yet. Really? All right, we're gonna do another one. We're gonna make some for tomorrow. <laughs> Your cooking plate is awesome. What? I said your cooking plate is oh, awesome goodness. that you made. <laughs> this? No. Oh, in there. The okay. cooking plate. Yeah. It works really good. 